Photos like these are circulating online. They show young girls posing with a vertical A4 piece of paper pressed against their stomach. If your waistline fits within the width of the paper, about eight and a quarter inches, you're healthy and fit. It's called the A4 Waist Fitness Challenge. It's truly not attainable, and I think it's not attainable by the majority of people. And we see that continuously, though, with a lot of these challenges, that people can't actually meet these requirements, and that's why they become um, so dangerous. Luciana Ross. Sucieza is the interim executive director of the Bulimia Anorexia Nervosa Association. Eating disorders have the highest death rate of any type of mental disorder. So when you're encouraging things like this, right, what are people actually doing to physically be able to fit into that mold of eight and a half inches? <laughs> High school students we talked to today say they are alarmed. It just makes people feel insecure. It's like not right. Because look at it. Nobody should ever be this size. Almost every student I spoke with outside of Catholic Central say they know someone who is suffering from anorexia or bulimia. I think that's pretty crazy. You know, women become very sensitive about their weight and to think that you have to be in that size of a paper to be considered fit is pretty ridiculous. Some are showing their disapproval online. Classy on the Run tweets, When I have a daughter, the only A4 sized piece of paper I want her comparing is her math notes. Jojo writes, I had the A4 waste several years ago. Primary school, maybe? And Carolina Galley says, Another day, another stupid beauty trend. As for Rasu Sieza, she wants people to follow Banna's slogan, be yourself. So we want everybody to feel comfortable about who they are, regardless of their shape, size, or appearance.